Oh, hey guys. Somebody's here. She did your countdown. Hi, Christine. Hi, Teresa. Oh my God, Christine is here. Hi. <laughs> hey, Marie. I don't know if she's here. And Marie says, I'm looking forward to this. I guess. Hi, Amy. Ooh. So here's the tea. I'm on my computer. I don't know how the quality is, but I'm supposed to be able to live stream on my phone. And yet, a YouTube did not give it to me yet. <laughs> so I'm going to be on my computer. Hi, Missa. Hey. How do you do the link? I don't see Missa. I don't see the link sharing thing. Oh, wait, there is. Let me see. Here's the link. Facebook. Ooh. All right, I think it's letting me share on Facebook. If you guys can share this in the group, because I'm having an issue with this, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Teresa's here. Hi, Linda. Hi, Lisa. So if you guys have a capability of sharing it in Facebook group, can you please do that in the, in the makeup group? Because, um, I don't know. I shared it on my Facebook profile, but I don't know. So how are you guys doing? I guess most of you are already go, close to going to bed. It's like 9 p.m. Here's one. Hey, Christine, uh, I know that you're in Canada, but are you in the same time zone in Canada? Do you still have uh, one? Hello, Christine. Is this one, 1 p.m.? I'm just wondering. Yeah, group. Yeah, just share it in the Facebook group. Oh, you already did? Oh, okay, thank you. All right, so you're in England. Yeah, I know you guys. Most of you are in England. And Ireland, England, Scotland, and a few of y'all. Yes, there you go. 3 p.m. in Texas. Oh, I guess... I guess my time is the earliest. I'm one. Oh, Christine, you're on the eastern. Ah, oh, okay. So you're on the east side of Canada. Oh, okay. I'm so bad. <laughs> so I guess I'm the only one that's really early. So I think I better start hustling if I want to do some makeup with y'all. <laughs> All right, cool. So as I said in the description box, I was going to do a... A comparison because Missa loves my Mitchell palette, which is beautiful, and I love it too. There you go. So you all know what it looks like. It's like uh, I bought it. I think I paid twenty six bucks. It's hot, really. <laughs> it's warm here. I haven't been out today because I mean, there is no reason to come out. In LA, it's real bad with Corona, so we're trying not to come out. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Yep, now I need to build a watch time. So this is tricky, tricky. So by going live, I'm gonna build my watch time. <laughs> here's revolution. So here's the plan. My plan is to use the similar colors. Like this pink is similar to Mama Mitchell. Uh, this green is similar to Mommy Mitchell, blue, and purple. And I think there's a red there that's similar to this. And it might be yellow. So I want to do like a rainbow-ish thing and put one eye. Okay, okay. Okay, Miss, it's better, it's better. <laughs> I'll just put this big, big, big thing on my right side and this one on the left side. So, of course, this one is easier to use because it's so small. This one is big. <laughs> yep, Missa has no compromises. And your computer. Holy cow. 
I'll watch it on TV. Interesting. You guys are so technologically advanced. Sissy and I sitting together. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to use a lot of brushes because I want not to contaminate anything. So uh, for the Makeup Revolution, I might go with the variety of brushes. And for the Mama Mitchell, I'm going to go with Jessa brushes just to be a little bit different. I got this Profusion brushes. I still like this, the Profusion ones. So I think I'm going to start with this. I'm just gonna go start with this. <laughs> yeah, I know, Miss. I better agree before you get mad. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with purple and build up to pink, and then maybe go red and orange. And I'm gonna cut the grease and put like a green and blue here. So we're gonna test like all the colors. So start with purple, and then this pink, and then I have like very similar here. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll use a smaller brush for purple. Yeah, this one's a little smaller, more the brush. Oh, hi, Jenny. Look at that. I got some of, my, some of my subscribers here. Yay, 15. Thank you, guys. So let's play. Let's hustle because ain't nobody got time for this. I got my big ass mirror from Amazon. This one has like different light modes. Look, see? It goes like yellow. And it goes to blue. I like blue better. Well, we'll see. So I primed my eyelids already with Peel base. Because I decided not to torture you with primer. So I'm just going to drop it in here. Outer corner. The purple here is really, really nice. See? Now I'm gonna put purple. I'm not gonna blend. I'm just gonna place purple on the other side. Oh, thank you, Christine. I know, right? That silver is so good, though. But I find that the silver is really easy to make, maybe because I find that there's a lot of good silvers, like in other palettes. So I'm just saying, it's not like a huge accomplishment. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna use just a brushes for the Mama Mitchell palette. If you only saw my desk here, my little table, I literally have no room here. There's a computer and two pallets, and that's about it. Hi, Gemma. Yeah, so we'll see. So now I'm going to go into this, the Mama Mitchell purple. And I'll use a Jessa brush, my favorite Jessa brush, the 231. And let's see. No contamination, so I'm gonna keep all the brushes on the left and the right, on the left and the right. <laughs> yeah, it's very similar color, actually, very similar. So what do you guys think? How's the quality? Because uh, I'm on my webcam and not on my phone. We do the pop art too much. Yeah, why not? Of course, why not? Exactly. Why do you ask us? You know, <laughs> it's awesome. You gotta go for it. Yeah, I love that pop art. It's so much fun. See, these two colors are very similar purple and purple. I'm not saying that the palettes are the same. I'm just saying the colors are similar. <laughs> and I'm gonna go with the Profusion brush. I, I'm just gonna mess up a lot of brushes because I want to not to contaminate anything. Okay, good, cool. Yeah, I was just wondering how much better is the phone? Because the phone I think is better than the computer, but. I'm gonna find out. I think there is a delay, delay when you build like 1,000 subscribers and when you're allowed to use your phone. Probably like a one week delay, I imagine. So. Hi, Matty. All right, so I'm going to a revolution on my right eye, right? Yeah. See, I already forgot which eye is which, I'm so bad. <laughs> 
Hi, Nikki. Yay. I didn't even know you were here. All right. So I'm going into this bright pink. I have to lift up everything, this thing, every single time. Ah. Hi, Amy. <laughs> You're all so good. All 21 of them. Oh, my God. Facebook would never 21 people. The only one time I was on Facebook Live and there were that many people and is when I was doing my husband in drag. When I put him in drag, we were very popular, like very popular all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jamie. You don't have to, but yeah. So. So I think I'm gonna use a lighter pink and lighter purple to blend this together. Yeah, this is very nice. So I'm not blending yet, I'm just placing them. And I'm gonna, where's my color switch? I'm gonna get ready to switch it up. So, oh, another brush, let me see. Here's another perfusion brush. So I'm gonna go on this side with Mama Mitchell. I think Mama Mitchell pink is a little lighter, but oh well, we'll try. So now I'm going with Mama Mitchell. Yeah, it's very similar, very similar. In the real life, I see this one maybe darker a little bit. This one is a little lighter. Hi, Faye. Faye's here. All right, now I'm gonna start blending this. So I'm gonna clean this in a color switch. Thank you, Teresa, for recommending me this advice, the device. <laughs> of course, the Amazon bot, not sponsored, <laughs> as if. All right, so I'm gonna go, so since I'm here, I'm gonna continue with Mama Mitchell. And I'm gonna go with this light pink and then light purple for the purple. And blend it out. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does, Sylvia. I was wondering and I didn't know that, but I did my research and it does say you can, uh, if you keep the life, if you don't delete it or don't make it private, it's gonna count towards watch hours, so. I'm like whoring myself out here. <laughs> All right, clean up on the color switch. And I'm gonna go with the purple. So light purple, Mama Mitchell. Yeah, no, if I'm here for like two hours, which is very likely, if not all of you fall asleep and get tired of me, I might build up the hours. <laughs> because the likeness or likelihood of you falling asleep is very high. A new carnival? I, it, no, Miss, I still, my old carnival, if you saw that, the palette I got was defective. It was very, very bad pigmentation. So what happened, I emailed Be Perfect, and they're actually very nice. They said they're gonna pay for my shipping. And I mailed it back to them and I gave them receipt. They still haven't paid my receipt, but they said they're gonna send me a new palette and pay for my shipping. So we shall see. So I still wanna get the first palette. So I'm kind of has like, a, I have bad taste from the first one, so we'll see. I know you all guys like it, the Be Perfect Cosmetics, but mine was so bad, so I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. Yeah, because Amy, I have a lot of crease, like naturally. I mean, my eyes crease because they're very like deep in, that's why. Yeah, they said the wood, so I mailed it. I mailed it, I have a receipt, I send them the tracking number. So we'll see. 
I hope the second one is not going to be a dad. So I'm just blending my left eye with Mama Mitchell. And then I'm going to go into the right eye. I'm trying not to make it too long and too complicated. Because if I were doing it that's complex, as usual, it would take me hours. But we don't have time for that. I know, right, Mesa? Exactly. Yeah, I have the the palettes that I got from AliExpress, and I'm releasing that video tomorrow. That's the 60 color, the color board, this one. So that's AliExpress palette. So it has green, it has blue, it has pink, and it has red. I think I skipped it. Yeah, here's red. So all of this is like 16 bucks on Amazon. So my review video is up tomorrow. So now I'm going to light pink, purple on this side. I blend it out. Yeah, it's it's so cheap. Go on Amazon, look it up. It's like 15, 16 bucks. When I ordered it, it was only available on AliExpress. So AliExpress took like almost three months. So I felt like an idiot. I'm like, why am I ordering it on AliExpress? Yes, I mean, it, it, it is very good. So like makeup shouldn't be that expensive to be good. So that's my motto. By the way, guys, did you see one of my subscribers commented on my palette collection video? And I said that the Huda Beauty dupe, uh, Focalure, it's not the Focalure dupe, it's the other way around. The Huda Beauty duped Focalure or something. I mean, it's true. Focalure was uh, since like 2018. And then Huda Beauty came with Mercury Retrograde in 2019. And they look very similar, so it makes you wonder who duped to, you know. That's so weird. They didn't even know it. <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah, go to it's called Colorboard Beauty Glaze Colorboard. And it's like $15 on Amazon. So I'm going with similar shades in the Revolution Beauty, the light pink and light purple. XX Revolution, I would say XX Revolution blends so easy. I'm not saying that the Mama Mitchell isn't, but I mean, I love it. It's just so good. <laughs> shady Huda, I know, right? <laughs> Huda Shady. Yeah, when that uh, subscriber, they commented, I'm like, is this true? And I looked up the dates, I'm like, ooh, that's true. And my subscriber said that Huda Beauty gets inspired by AliExpress palettes. <laughs> I was like, the shade, the shade, though. But it might be true. I don't know. All right, so let me try the red. So the Mama Mitchell read this one, obvious, after the pink. And the XX Revolution got another red. It's kind of more all red orange here. This one is similar. Hi, Hagar. Hey. Oh, hi, Christina. Oh, my God. Chris is here. <laughs> You know, Chrissy, you can go live on your computer even if you don't have a thousand subscribers. I didn't know that, but now I know it. I feel like an idiot because I didn't. So now I'm like, mm, okay. <laughs> the other problem is Jessa brushes, the set. A lot of them are too big. Like, you look at them like huge. The only one, it's small. The rest of them are so big. So I think I might go with other brushes that's smaller. I got here, oops, 
I got a lot of uh, AliExpress brushes. I might as well go with AliExpress. <sighs> AliExpress brush and the Beauty Bay palette. Going to the red. Yeah, red is real pigmented. I think I want to leave a room for the orange and yellow. Make it kind of rainbow-ish. So clean up on a color switch, I'll go for the lighter tone immediately. I know, right? I mean, what else to do? Hey, guard, do makeup, it's fun. <laughs> so I'm going into the, the X Actor Revolution. I'm not gonna hold it up every time because my arms are gonna fall off. And most likely my computer is going to fall off because I'm going to hit it off. Uh, uh, Chrissy, if you have a computer, look on your laptop. You can go on your laptop on the webcam live, even if you don't have 1,000 subscribers, but you cannot use your mobile. When you hit 1,000 subscribers, then you can use your phone. You use an iPad. Well, look on the computer. You'll see. I didn't know that either. I figured it out. All right, another AliExpress brush. And I'm going to go into this, into the red. That's XX Revolution. Yeah, so far very similar, red and red. And there is a lighter pinkish tone there. I'm going to blend it out here. Oop. Yeah, I didn't know that, Christina. I just found out today. Actually, Tia told me. Tia knows everything somehow. <laughs> and I was like, I felt like an idiot. <laughs> Hi, Nina. So yeah, so far, very similar look. Very, very similar. So I think I'm gonna try, maybe I'll probably put like a yellow here. I'll try the yellow and blend it, it's gonna orange, make orange. Do you wash your brush often? Yeah, I, brush, I wash my brushes every time. Cinema Secrets. Well, I do have color switch. I'm using it now, like as I'm going, but after this, it is all washed. And I'm very simple, I take a bar of soap and I go like this. I don't know how good it is, but to me, the bar of soap and going like over it in circles, it washes the brush its quickest. And I wash them like that. Yeah, yeah, I like the, to wash right away. I'm like a little bit anal about it, so. All right, let's try it yellow. Like a similar size brush, this is lavish. I got this in boxy charm, they're so cute. I love these brushes. Uh, so like now let's try since I'm on this eye, I'm gonna go with yellow and XX Revolution. I think XX Revolution yellow is a little more greenish yellow. See, this yellow is like a little slightly green or something like a lime yellow. And that Beauty Bay Mama Mitchell. This yellow is a little more like a warm tone. So we'll see. So let's see how similar that is. It's powdery, it's powdery the house, if you know, I like to say that. It's like Rich Lux, the house damn boots. <laughs> exactly, it's easy to wash them every time. Oh, I don't know, I wash it every time. Or oh, sometimes my husband washes it after. <laughs> John is so good to me, when I'm finished, I'm like, can you wash my brushes while I'm taking pictures? So when I film, I feel like at late at night, like a four, five, six, seven, and then by 7 p.m. I'm done, and then I need to wash my brushes and make dinner. So I'm like, well, if you wash the brushes, him, then I'll make the dinner. So you'll earn your dinner by washing brushes. <laughs> and he does, he's so sweet. So 
So yeah, it's very powdery, the XX Revolution one. But, you know, it's bright. It's pigmented. Falls out a lot, so I'm glad I don't have face makeup on first. So now I'm going to this side, and we'll do the same thing with the MMA Mitchell palette. I'll find another brush. It's gonna be brush galore today. So many brushes. All right. Here's another AliExpress brush. And let's see, go to Mama Mitchell. I dry my brushes cut. You know, I think you said it to me, right? Or somebody else did. It's a real good idea, Christine. Except I don't have a pool devices because I don't do pool. I don't like water. I like cycling. I like running. I like Zumba, but I don't like swimming. So I think Mama Mitchell, uh, Miss, if you're still here, listen up. Yellow Mama Mitchell is better. I think you're right. Okay. And better in a way that it doesn't fall out as much. And I think it's a little more pigmented. Oh, thank you for letting me know that you're in the toilet. I love that. <laughs> well, if I go to the toilet, you're going to know because I'm going to disappear. <laughs> Hi, Sylvia. I don't like water. I don't. Yeah, I definitely am a cat. Because, like, I don't like water touching my face and my ears and my nose. It's some kind of thing, like, like it's like grosses me out for some reason. I don't know. It's a thing. I can't swim. I'm not going to drown, but I don't like the water around me. I'm not going to bring you to the bathroom with me. It's very unprofessional. This is a public forum here. <laughs> That's not Facebook. <laughs> I can't do this, SHAT. <laughs> All right, so... So far, so good. I'm just gonna kind of clean up the blend here. And then I'm gonna highlight brow bone. The only problem is Mama Mitchell, the highlighting she hates, like shimmers, they're kind of chunky. I'm not really into that. And XX Revolution shimmers are better, I think. I like them better. Oh, you do this? Oh, wow, wow. Does it bother you it gets in the ears and the nose? Oh, for some reason, like when the water gets in my ears and my nose, it's like, I just can't stand it. There's something about it. I'm real like a cat. I can't, I can't with water. Well, thank you. Somebody agrees with me. I like shower for the same reason, because I don't like to be in water. So I don't like soaking. So I don't do bathtub. I don't do pool. I don't do swimming. I just don't shower. I wash it off. And I go around my life. Otherwise, I'll lose my mind. <laughs> I think when we buy a house, like we're looking for a house that has showers like stand-up showers, but no uh, bathtub, because we don't care about bathtub. My husband doesn't care either. He doesn't like to soak either. I'm trying not to remember, forget which side is which. And what color I'm using? So I might. <laughs> look around corner. Hotel, huh? Interesting. 
Well, I guess I'm one of the weirdos that doesn't like swimming. So let's try to highlight before I go on to the rest. So let me see. For let's try find similar. I mean, the only highlight that's similar to Mama Mitchell because Mama Mitchell they're all kind of white-ish, like they're all a little white-ish. So I might use the muffin. I don't like the texture of muffin. It's kind of chunky, but I think it's probably the only one here. And for this one, I'm just gonna go with white. And let's see, that's small tiny brushes, lavish, and the other one, I have another brush like that, And I can't find it. I'm just gonna have to clean it. Call switch and use it in the other eye. Something. Oh, I have. It. There you go. Small brush. All right. One in each ball. Eyeball. <laughs> so using this with XX Revolution White. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, I lifted my eyebrows. My real eyebrows here. So I put concealer there and lifted them up. As usual. Just a little drag trick. I'm not gonna do my inner corner yet because I still have to do a concealer. Oh, hi, say hi to Amy from me. What's my favorite palette of all my palettes? Oh, that's a good question. Well, now that I have so many expensive palettes, I don't know, I have a lot of good ones. Mm, it's hard to tell. I do like uh, the new Norvina one, this one, that I got on sale. The quality is so good. I really love this. It does have all colors in the rainbow, but it, it is good quality. And, of course, I'm not going to lift it up, but the bloodlust, the very problematic bloodlust is very good. I'm not going to use it on my channel for the obvious reasons, but I do like the quality. What is that purple brush? What happened to you? All right, blend this out. Your mom hates swim. <laughs> I don't like to get my hair wet either. That's one of the reasons too. Yeah, I think the Makeup Revolution, that XX Revolution that I'm using now is like one of my favorites now, currently, and Mama Mitchell. I like them both. I can't say one is better than the other because I really like them both. It's just because they have all colors of the rainbow. That's one of the reasons. All right, so now I'm going to plan. So this is this side, so I'm going to go to this side and use the highlighter, the muffin from Emma Mitchell. And this one is a little tricky, it's very chunky. Yeah, but you could, Teresa, if you use the, the glue, like a glue stick, you can try, you know, the drag, drag technique. Yes, Christine, I'm gonna do it more often now. And I think my mobile device should be available next week. I'm thinking it's just maybe a glitch. So I think about doing every Sunday and maybe some weekdays, we'll see. My problem with uh, doing live because so many people of you guys are in UK. If I start, for me, it's like hard to start early, but for you guys, it's late night. So it's, uh, that's a difficulty. So this is a very pretty highlight too. So it looks very similar right now.
<laughs> yes, Nervina is good. I don't have the new one. I only have one. Yeah. All right, so let me clean up. I'll do the Q-tips and I have my micellar water. So which one of you guys know what Kroger is? Do you know Kroger? This is a grocery store in US. It's like they have different kinds and they own like other chains, like in Las Vegas, it's called Smith. And here it's called Ralph's. I love Kroger. A Revolution pilots are good. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love all the Revolution. The Revolution is probably like my favorite brand, hands down. Okay. Right, like I, I have a hard time choosing what my favorite is. For different reasons, I have different favorites. But of course, like I prefer like bright, colorful ones. Oh, cool, I love Kroger, I know. See that? It's good micellar water, by the way. Not any worse than the bread name. All right, just clear it up. Yeah, most people of you in UK, you probably don't know, but here it's like a big brand, big chain, I would say. Oh, cool. Yeah, when we used to live in Atlanta, Atlanta was like all Kroger, like in Atlanta. So that brings up the memories. We lived in Atlanta in Midtown. If you guys know about Atlantic Center, Atlantic uh, was like an art center tower or something, art, art tower. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know gems, like I wish, I hope one day, because I love revolution. It's like me and Chrissy, we can be in the revolution PR for sure. Right? Yeah, it cleans up, look, see, all that bright shadow. I mean, for the only reason I wouldn't do it, if the color was very similar, like I wouldn't care. But if I want to use like the opposite color, of course, I want to clean. I'm going to use P. Louise base. It's a uh, rumor 05, it's like almost white. And the flat brush, let's see, my brush, a Morphe. It doesn't have a name, it's very sharp. I know, right? Uh, Chris, it's me and you, it's our dream. We want to be on PR list. <laughs> oh, hi, hey, hey, Haley. Oh, it's Haley. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll post it, I'll post it in the group. All right, let's cut it. I'm not gonna be like super neat because it would take me forever. So she's just gonna go quick. Mirror. I know, right? Especially you, crazy, because you shop like crazy for makeup revolution. I buy, but I buy like, you know, very conservatively. So here's the thing, I've seen people on PLE's Academy when a pat, pat, pat with a brush, like copious amounts. But to me, it's just too much. I like to be a little more sparing. So I'll use, uh, this is dry. I cut the sponge in two. And so it's very flat, so I can pat it in. So now I can kind of pat it in onto my eyelid. 
So it's going to make it smooth without extra building up. I ordered, I ordered from Makeup Revolution, the new Makeup Obsession palettes, like the tiny ones. And I ordered something else, I don't remember what. <laughs> so I guess when it arrives, I'll see. I ordered something new, something new came out. I made an order and I forgot what it was. <laughs> I guess it's gonna be a surprise. I'm telling you, if you guys are in the US, if you order from Revolution Beauty, it ships so fast. It takes like maybe four days, it arrives. And the ship is like right away. Yeah, I know I can't use too much base. I know, Chrissy, I saw that. I didn't know they, they were tiny, but too late. I already ordered them. I think it's gonna be good for my channel, for reviews, so we'll see. I ordered two, the pink and the purple. Obviously, pink and purple. Oh, sorry, Chrissy. All right, put it in. Exactly, that too. And I find it gets very patchy if I don't buff it out like this. I like to press, like a press in. When I press it in, it looks smoother. Oh, really? Interesting. I think, well, yeah, I guess there's a direct flight to LA maybe. I don't know. But I find it like the ship immediately and it comes to LA like in four days, five days after the ship, which is like crazy. Cause Beauty Bay is pretty good, but not as good. Ah, oh, okay. I know they did. And I'm very selective with I water from them. Cause like, I don't like neutrals. And the one Teresa was talking about, the new one, it kind of looks very brown and I don't know. I'm over it. I'm not buying any more brown. So how to tell the situation in Texas? Because here we all close down. And my gym is closed down, so we don't know when it's coming back. So I started teaching Zumba like two weeks ago. I was teaching Zumba back to normal. Now everything shut down. So it's not good. Pastel, yeah, you know, I didn't want it because pastel's kind of boring, but I guess it's useful. But you know, for me, for the pastels, I like to use this. It's not technically a pastel, but it has pastel colors. You see, like all the pastels here. And this is uh, Birds of uh, Paradise. So if I need some light, like it has light green, it has light orange, they're not the bright, but kind of like pastel-ish. So could blend out certain things from them. Parts are closed just enough. <laughs> I'm like the opposite. I don't drink, but I work out. So yeah, I'll know everything about gym. So I guess now I'm gonna try the green and the green. So Makeup Revolution, and Mama Mitchell. So the only problem is Mama Mitchell green is a little darker, like this green. 
And revolution is a little lighter, I think. So I might have to go between this and this, maybe two greens to make that green, because they're not very similar. And of course, we all know that uh, Beauty Bay and Mammy Mitchell green is like on point. So let me see. I'll get maybe like a flat brush so I can pat it in. So it's real, real bright. So let me try the Makeup Revolution. That's AliExpress brush. I am a beautiful parakeet, right? I love parakeets. So this is like a parakeet look. I'm just throwing it all in the, up in there. Kind of like a modified rainbow, I guess. So this is XX Revolution. Let's see. That's pretty impressive. I have to throw in the glitter somewhere in there on the crease because otherwise it's going to be a little bit of like a little crazy looking. You see that pigmentation? It's pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see well, but the light, I don't know. But this green, this is XX Revolution, is real good. Now I'm gonna clean it up and use a blue. And the blue. Uh, this one is similar to Mama Mitchell. So I'm gonna go with this blue. I know, Teresa, I knew you were waiting, waiting with a baited brass with the green. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Marie. I'm just reading it. I'm missing everything. Yeah, we have to wear a mask everywhere, but I mean, we need to, because that's the only way to stop, stop the virus. People need to listen. Oh, look at that blue. That's makeup revolution. So now to blend this into the purple. Yeah, but this is XX Revolution. Wait for the Beauty Bay. The Beauty Bay is real nice. And I think the Beauty Bay green might uh, beat that because I know the Mama Mitchell green is like everything. I just uh, blend in the blue and the green. John, can I turn down the air conditioner? I'm kind of hot in here. My husband is so nice to me. This lights are making me hot. So I'm like asking my husband to turn it down. I'm like, <laughs> I'm hot. Yeah, I love these colors. I knew it, Teresa. We're both parakeets. We all love this. Oh, thank you. So much better. I don't know how you guys live without air conditioning in Ireland. For you, Teresa, I would die. I would die without air conditioning. Like, it's getting warm here, and it's like I'm sitting with the lights. I'm like, I need air conditioning. So blend in the purple, this is still Makeup Revolution. I know, that's not a bad problem to have. <laughs> Thank you, Sylvia. All right, purple and blue. Yeah, that's sort of a rainbow, I guess. I'll put glitter here in the future when I'm done. And that blue is beautiful too.
Yeah, probably this summer is not as hot, right? Yeah. Wow. I guess you guys beat us. Here was like maybe 90 something, but it didn't get to over 100. Now, when we live in Las Vegas, Las Vegas went up to 115, but with a dry heat, it's not as bad. But 115 degrees in Las Vegas, I was like, ah, that was hot. So uh, we didn't like Las Vegas that much. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Christine. All right, so I'll take another flood brush. And oh my God, I'm going to have so much cleanup after this. There's so many brushes I messed up. John, do you hear that? <laughs> I tell my husband, I'm going to have so much, so many brushes for you to clean. <laughs> He's becoming my brush cleaner. Slowly but surely. All right, so I'm going to Mama Mitchell now, the green. And it might have creased a little bit, not a lot. So we shall see which green wins. That green, look at that. I've got to say, I think the Mama Mitchell green is better because it cut. Like you can see it pigmented immediately, like right away, without building. So Missa, I think you, I'm gonna like eat it. <laughs> eat my words and say that the green, the Mama Mitchell is better. I don't know if you can see this green is more pigmented and this one is less. So definitely Mama Mitchell is like, Phew! In your face. It's not that quick. If I wasn't talking and reading, I would have been done already with a full face. <laughs> 52 minutes, easy, full face. I know. I didn't know, Christine. I didn't know that in Canada you get like hot. Wow. I didn't realize that. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I have lived in many places because my husband, uh, he used to fly for like a small individual uh, plane owners and it didn't pay that well. So we lived in Florida for a long time and then we lived in Atlanta a year and then we moved to Istanbul for a year <laughs> and then we moved to New York and then we moved to Las Vegas and back to New York. <laughs> And now back to LA from there. So I think we're just gonna settle down because we're tired of this. No, not really. It doesn't like my makeup is usually good. And who's late? Oh, Carly! Hi, Carly. <laughs> yeah, I don't melt. I don't melt, especially now with the air conditioning. Mostly it's in the car because people really drive here. That we don't really. We don't walk, like, use public transportation like New York or Europe. L.A. is all driving. So if you walk, maybe we'll walk at night. And at night, uh, it goes down. Here, the temperature really goes down to, like, 70 degrees at night. It's real nice. So, no. <laughs> oh, cool. Awesome. Well, at least somebody's happy on YouTube. All right. So let's do the blue. What is that flat brush? I'm losing my SHIT already. That's hap what happens when you don't have enough room. Oh, there is my brush. No, this what did I do with it? So now I'm gonna be looking for the brush for the next 20 minutes. Oh, there it is. So we can't wait to buy a house because we live in downtown LA. Apartment is nice, but it's small. So I have like walls right here. So literally my filming area is like tiny and the front door is here and the living room is here. So I'm like in a box here pretty much. Yeah, no, right? Missa, you're right. You can make a fake account. 13 times in eight years, you beat me, Kylie. Oh my God. Kaylee, I keep on calling you Kylie. 
All right, so I'm going to blue, blue in Mama Mitchell. Oh, wow, look at that blue. It's a little darker than uh, Revolution. Yeah, yep. I think I'm like proving to myself that the Mami Mitchell quality is actually slightly better. So yeah, miss it, do you hear it? Mama Mitchell is better quality. <laughs> I think I'm like eating it now. <laughs> I did say it right. I thought you'd call yourself Kaylee, not Kylie. Like Kylie, Kylie Jenner, but Kaylee? I thought you said Kaylee. I'm so bad. Wow. 14 times. Holy cow. I don't know how many, but we moved a lot. Like when I lived in New York, because New York is so difficult and you can't find like a, a good apartment, a good neighborhood. There is always something wrong. So we kept moving. So we lived in Jamaica, Queens, one. So the first place. Then we lived in Forest Hills, that's two. Then we lived in Midtown, my favorite place, that three. And then we lived in uh, Washington Heights, that's four. So just in New York, we moved four times. Oh, in New Jersey for six months. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, but I still love New York. I have like, I have, Feelings for New York. I can't get over it. My husband hates it. And I love New York. Oh, okay. I know. Every time you it was say it in your videos, I hear Kaylee, not Kylie. And I'm like, is it Kaylee or is it Kylie? And I'm Russian, so it figures. From, with my pronunciation, everything is different. <laughs> All right, purple, just blending it together. So I'm blending Mama Mitchell. I see the blue in Mama Mitchell is way more pigmented. The blue is, but the pink is brighter in the revolution, so. I know. <laughs> well, those look very similar, but you can tell the color pigmentation is like the green and the blue, I would say Mama Mitchell wins. But the pink, I think the XX Revolution wins with the pink. And I think I need to put uh, maybe this one looks more green and this one looks more blue. So I don't think I'm going to add a little more here. There goes the brush. <sighs> Two second rule. Does it count? Yep, you're right. That's exactly my feelings, Teresa. They're brighter. The way more pigmented. I think I like the shimmers and the revolution better, but the mats are better um, in Mama Mitchell, probably. All right, trying to make them look as similar as possible. <laughs> I think I might have to go 
with a low lash line. I usually do my low lash line first, and then I do makeup, face makeup after. North Carolina. Oh, that's a place we haven't been yet, North Carolina. Yeah, my husband is quiet. He's just sitting at his computer, just playing around, probably on Facebook. Oh, you've been married for 33 years. Wow. I've been married for, it's going to be 22 years this year in November. So, yeah, it's a long time. In the one house. Wow. wow. Yeah, we moved a lot. I like moving, but the problem is like you build friendships and then you leave. So it's kind of like a little depressing because you meet people and then you, you know, you lose connection and, you know, it's hard to build up friendships again. So now, like, I have so many wonderful friends from Sausages. I love you guys. So at least we make up right here. All right, let me do a low lash line real quick. I think I'm going to do purple, continue with purple. And maybe, should I go blue? Mm, purple and blue. Yeah, I think I want to do purple and blue in the bottom. And I'll probably just mess up another brush for that. So why not? So Revolution, I'll put first purple here. I have a little bit of P. Louise base under my eye too. Yeah. <laughs> 25th anniversary of South Carolina. Interesting. You guys need to visit me in LA when the travel is open. And my next destination is Edinburgh. Definitely want to go to Edinburgh. Oh, Misa, did you finish watching The Outlander? Because, like, I was obsessed with Outlander. So I'm, like, even more obsessed with Scotland now <laughs> because of Outlander. I mean, it's awesome. I love it. Clean up on the color switch. I'll go with the deeper blue here. The very, very powdery, the Makeup Revolution ones. Uh, thank you, Sylvia. Yeah, they're very similar. I would say this one's a little more pigmented. Thank God I'm doing my face makeup later because I have like a, a veil, a veil of stuff under my eye. Oh, you did too? Yeah, I love it. I watched everything. My husband and I literally uh, binge watched everything. So this was this. So I'm going to use another brush, similar small. And I'm going to go with Mitchell. So the purple and the blue. I know, right? Yeah, I think it might take a long time before we can travel anywhere, especially US. We are, I think we're banned from traveling <laughs> because we are like carriers of disease, <laughs> literally. So it's going to take a while before we can go anywhere. When you say, Teresa, you had those tourists from US, I couldn't believe they allowed them in Ireland. I'm like, what is going on? I know, right? I would love to meet up with all of you guys. Right, so green, blue, and so on. I think I want to add black just in the outer corner. Since I tried all of the shades, I think I need to try the black for both palettes since we want like a smoky look. Yeah, I should use the black 
in the outer corner. Oh, only one season? You need to get on that, Mesa. It's very good. I don't know if you like it, but we kind of binged the watched. Because we got so into it, we couldn't stop until we watched everything. My husband and I literally watched like a few episodes a day. Whenever I had lunch or after I filmed, like while I was editing or after I was editing, I mean, I, we watched. It was like so good. Uh, so let me try black. Should I mess up another brush? Probably. I've used up one, two, three, four, five, six on each side. So 12 brushes so far. So let's do the black. Get a small brush. Oh, here's the Elf. Elf Jake is a pencil brush. I'll do with the Revolution and I'll use something else for Mitchell. So black. Add a lot of fallout. Take a while to get used to get used to it. I mean, I mean, I started filming. Yeah, I guess the first couple. What are you asking? Like, how long it took me to get used to the filming? Yeah. First of all, I couldn't figure out the lighting and you know the equipment, so that took a while to build because I had limited lights and it was not that good. And then I couldn't figure out the space, like where to sit and how to add it. Oh my God, the edit. Ooh. The edit takes hours. And the rest of the girls will tell you Teresa's YouTuber, uh, Chrissy's YouTuber. I mean, who else is here? Kylie's YouTuber. I mean, editing is like crazy. And Missa, of course, is our queen of YouTube. And I'll use purple to blend it. Editing is the worst, I know. It takes hours. What got me? Um, my friends used to always ask me like how I did my eyeshadow, even when I lived in Florida like years ago. Because I always teach like exercise classes with eye makeup on. And it never goes anywhere. Like I tend to like keep everything on, and it doesn't get sweaty. So I will be always asked, like, "How did you make up? Can you do a video?" And I was like, "Eh, maybe in the future." So I never did it until I started to watch Missa, and Missa, you inspired me actually to actually do something about it. For some reasons, like you, Missa, you were my last push to like maybe I should really actually try it. Yeah, I know. You love editing? I don't know. Editing takes hours. So yeah, Miss inspired me to uh, really get into it. And then once I got into it, like I can't stop. I love it now. Small brush, yet another. <laughs> yeah, there's Morphe. Small brush, I'll use that with Mama Mitchell. Mafia. Okay, let's just talk about the black. The black in Mama Mitchell is better. I mean, hands down. It falls out less and it sticks better, I think. Oh, yeah, I know. I know, Miss, it was tough. There's a lot of islands, Miss, uh, in all seasons, so if you don't want to continue to watch for that, I understand.
Yeah, I think black is way more pigmented. And Mama Mitchell, then Re Revolution. I feel like XX Revolution, I need to put black on the base, not on top of other eyeshadow. Yep, I agree. Ed everybody agrees except for Kylie. Kylie likes editing. Look, you see, I like editing in a way because, you know, the final product, but it takes so long. Kind of reconsidering, hey, the way I film. So maybe I should film like in short bouts and just prepare more for it, I guess. I don't know. All right, I think I'm going to do my base first. Then I'm going to fix up whatever that fell out. And I'll finish the eyes with the, like the lashes and everything. Yeah, I think so too. See, like the blue and the green are more pigmented. The black, this is exact revolution. The black is a little like uh, on the see through, right? And black here is like really, really bright. So yeah, in in real life, actually, I don't know. Like when I'm looking at my screen, it looks a little bit of um, everything is kind of in a gray tone. Like it's not as bright. But when I'm looking in the mirror, I can see this one is very bright. And this one is too, but like this one is really bright. Yeah, I know it is very close. But I think the pink wins here. Like this pink is brighter. Like this one wins hands down. The purple is exactly the same. The uh, shimmers are better, I think. I really like them better. The silver, everything. Like my Mitchell shimmers like, mm. But this are better, but the mats, the win here. So, yeah, so give or take, I guess. Let me put this away for now. The Walmart, the Walmart makeup wipes. I like this. It's so really good to get rid of the foil. I know, right? I feel like that too, mister. I feel like I met so many friends, and because of you, you made it happen for us. And of course, I met more people with my little tiny channel. 10 hours, 10 hours. I don't know if I'm going to be awake for that long. But this is a good idea. I'll take pictures, like maybe a small video after a few hours, and I'll let you know which side is better. That's a good idea, actually. Patrick Star. He has wipes. I didn't know head wipes. Oh, hey, Maddie. Good to see. Oh, it jumped and get ready for it. Okay. So, yeah, it's getting late there. So, what's at 10 p.m.? If you have to work in the morning, I guess it's getting late. Unless you're stuck at home because of Corona. Because I'm still home. All right, what should I prime with? Uh, which foundation do you guys want me to use? I have so much stuff. What is not much cheaper? I'm missing it. I'm missing so many comments. Because I keep looking at my face instead of the comments. <laughs> All right. I have... Oh, what do you got? I think I forgot my eye cream. I meant to moisturize my under eyes before I put makeup on, but I think I left it. Oh, I know I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my primer water from Primark. Thank you, Marie. 
I kind of use it with my hands. My hands are clean. I just clean them with makeup wipes. <laughs> so I use it with my hands. I don't like to spray myself because it's like gets everywhere. Oh, okay. I see. And I use it in my under eyes too, as a moisturizer, because I'm lazy to get up. I forgot my moisturizer. I love this primer. Mm, smells good. What are you talking about? Wank without a car? What? You guys are so funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. I'll go for my new primer, the Revolution primer. I really like this one. Kind of like a body primer, but more of like a skincare, rather. Oh, I think I took too much, but whatever. Definitely too much. That's the story of my life. I take too much stuff and put it on my face. <laughs> I love that. I need a paper towel. I slathered myself with this primer way too much. Which foundation do you guys want to use? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to use some glitter. I'm not going to leave it like that. After I'm done, I'm gonna use some glitter on my crease because this is a hair. This is super matte. But I'm definitely gonna put some glitter for the crease. I think I'm gonna use the CC foundation, the Revolution Pro. This is a real nice one. And again, thank you, Man Marie, for my birthday gift. This is F8. It's a real good shade for me. I know it is. I've been using that for brushes too. I'm gonna go back to my old Juno. This one's getting old. It's all crusty, but I still like it. I like it especially for things like this because this is a CC cream. So if you apply it with a sponge that eats up foundation, might be like not full coverage and I like full coverage. Is it open? Yes, it's open. I really like the CC cream. What I like about this sponge, the Juno, you can actually kind of brush it on like a brush and then pat it in. It's like almost like between the brush and the sponge. See that coverage? It's so good. You do? Yeah, see? Me too. I love it. And this is a cream is real, real high co uh, coverage, actually.
It's almost like easy to use too much of it. I feel like I want to use a weight gauze technique with the um, tissues. Have you seen this video of Wayne Goss when he uses tissue to like wipe off the excess? I almost like feel like I want to use that. I might. The only thing is with CC cream is not all that full coverage, so I don't know. But one it. But I might want to give it a try. Is it transferring? Yeah. I think it when you use too much, that's what happens. But I think I'm gonna use that Wayne Gauss technique with the uh, wiping, so we'll see. Yeah, it's real, real nice finish. Yes, Teresa, you need to watch. You need to watch Wayne Goss. Did you see my video where I was uh, using his technique? You gotta go watch my video. Don't go watch his, watch mine. <laughs> no, I mean, go watch his too, because he, he explains how to. So I'm gonna show you how he did it. He kind of applied the contour first and the highlighter first and then the foundation, but I'm just going the regular way. Okay. Thank you, Marie. <laughs> yeah, I love the CC cream. See how nice it is? I don't think I'm going to contour, cream contour. I don't feel like it. This just adds too much gunk. But I'm going to still use the tissue thing. All right, so let's do the concealer. Oh, let's go with the Dewy. So I'll use my uh, e.l.f. Hydrating common concealer. Yeah, that's easy cream, and Marie. That it is uh, amazing. So good. So I'm not gonna use it everywhere. I'm maybe I am, right? I might as well. I'll do the YouTuber. I'll do the YouTuber highlighting technique. <laughs> Thing is, when you have like aging skin, you're 45 and you use that much product, it's not as flattering as a 20 year old would use it. So I don't really like it that much. But... <laughs> yeah, I know, I love that one. Oh, hey Felicia, look at that, who's here? So I like to start with my sponge and then I end up with a smaller sponge because I have deep spaces here. I cannot get in there with this big, big Juno sponge. Yep, everybody likes it, it's very nice. I'll go back to that small little sponge. If you don't have deep spaces in your eyeballs like me, you probably don't need it, but I have like a deep, deep, deep chunks of spaces here. I have to get in there. Born to Glow Concealer. I never tried that yet. Interesting. Is it full coverage, Carly? The Born to Glow? Yeah. I don't like the regular camo concealer. I used to, but I think it's very dry. 
like real, real dry. I used to use it for the eyeshadow base, but even for the eyeshadow base, I feel like it's drying me out. Oh, hi, Vic Victoria. Victoria's here. She made it, yay. Letty made it? Is she here? Oh, hi, Letty. Oh my God, I missed it. <laughs> so who else has the same issue as me? Like a deep, deep, deep dark space between the nose and the eye that nothing get in there except for this tiny sponge because my finger cannot get in there either. <laughs> I have really deep sockets, so that's a problem. You do too, Kylie? Huh. Yeah. Like this space, I hate this little, little hole. It's like a hole in there. Yep, deep set eyes, I know. That's what I got. So I feel like I always want to brighten up my inner corner, like really brighten up, because otherwise it looks very dark, like I have dark circles. All right, so now that it kind of have a build up of the products, so now what Dwayne Goss did, he used the tissue. Uh, at the time I was making my video, I didn't have tissues. Small fluffy brush. Okay. I like to use sponges more than brushes. So what he did, the regular tissue like this, all right? You take a tissue. This actually kind of layered, so I'm going to use one to separate, to make it real thin. So I take a tissue and then take a little sponge, like makeup sponge like this, a triangle sponge. So I wrap it up and then uh, blot, blot your makeup. Kind of sounds scary, but it does work. So you just blot. So what it does, it takes the excess off. And it takes the oil off, like oils in your face. So it doesn't crease and the makeup lasts longer. I like what it does. The only thing is I feel like it does take off sometimes too much. So I have to go with the sponge a little over sometimes. Oh, hi Linda, good night. Night Kylie, Kylie. See? The all the products in there. So it works, but the thing is sometimes I feel like it removes too much makeup, but I think it does make your makeup look very smooth. So I'm gonna go over the whole face like this, like everything. I feel like my face looks more uh, smooth after this. See how much stuff comes out? Yeah, try it, Alicia. Go watch Wayne Goss, uh, where he says, stop making a contouring like a YouTuber. <laughs> like a contouring for people over 40, 
which like spoke to me. I'm 45, so. But I think it kind of works for anyone because it really makes the makeup look smoother. And I'm gonna go my under eyes, same thing. Gonna blot. The only thing you like, I don't like to remove the concealer, so I'll go light. So you see all this? It's all the oils that came off. Message who? <laughs> you need to evidence. I need to bring my driver's license or my passport. I'm like Peter Mon. He says I'm an old man on YouTube. He's an old, uh, uh, what do you call it, drama channel on YouTube. And I, I'm an old beauty guru on YouTube. Like he says, I'm 50 and I like to kick. <laughs> if you watch Peter Mon, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love when he says it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yep, it works. All right, so after I did this, I don't want to overdo it with my under eyes because I still want coverage. Now we can set it. I feel like the only thing is sometimes with the tissue, you see like little streaks of tissue. So I'll go with the sponge a little bit more. But overall, I think it smoothed out your skin, real smoothed out your skin. So I think I want to do the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm out of the Elf, uh, Elf Halo Glow, I'm out of it. So that one didn't last long. It's so weird. It's like I used it up so quickly. It's probably not a lot of product in it, but I like this one too. This one is real good. Maybe it fit me. And I like to set with the Blendiful. The Blendiful actually works for setting powders real well. The oils. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it does take away oils. It takes away extra, um, I would say, like extra foundation you don't need, so it looks smoother. Like he says, it takes away oils, takes away extra foundation. Actually, makeup looks smoother, lasts longer. That's what Wayne God says. <laughs> you don't believe me? <laughs> I need to bring the receipts and delete the tweets. All right, here is the under eyes. <laughs> All right, my next life, I'll bring you receipts. Sylvia is leaving. Oh, good night, Sylvia. Oh, yeah, you're going to bed. I know. I'll post the. I'll post the picture. Well, now I can actually post on YouTube too. I think the community post. I can post the results on community. So also, what he did, the Wayne Goss technique, he said everything. He said, set, set very well, and then use brush to brush off excess powder so there's not too much powder. <laughs> wow. Well, Missa, you look very useful. You can get away with it. You could probably be taken for... 18 year old or something. 
Teresa, you need to take several seats. You got Botox, so. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Yeah, I love this blended for for setting. Real nice. Yes, Miss says a baby. I think I haven't drank wine ever since my birthday or maybe like one time after or something. I think ever since my birthday when I got real drunk on Zoom. <laughs> you all saw that? I don't think I had a drink after that. That bottle of wine that I didn't finish, it's still sitting in the fridge. And it's probably spoiled. <laughs> I don't really drink. Bottle is still there. Oh, hey. Hey, girl. Samantha made it. Yeah, Samantha has no reason to go away because we're on the same time zone, me and her. If you all go to sleep, she can still stay up because it's 2.37 p.m. now here. All right, so now it's all set. So now what he did, he took a brush and he brushed off excess powder. I was gonna use the uh, Jacqueline Hill powder on top of this. Should I brush off excess first, I think. I think I should. I use a perfusion brush. And now I'm going to use a little bit of a Jaclyn Hill glowy powder. I don't use it that often. It was very nice on Morphe website. So this is color, which one? Jumi? It's like a makeup revolution. Uh, skin finish, same thing. Gives you a little bit of glow. Yep, she does. Drunk Elaine sticks out. I know, I do. Yeah, I think when I was drunk, I started eating carrots because I wanted a snack. And I was eating raw carrots. And everybody was laughing at me. I wish I could get you all my Zumba class. Unfortunately, when I go teach Zumba live, nobody's awake or wants to have dinner or something. Because it's uh, 7 p.m., so you're all eating dinner. You know, I think, Kaylee, you say that uh, CC cream is uh, like transverse. I think you're onto something. I was trying to like wipe off excess powder and I think I had to seal those streaks. So you might be right on that one. I never tried to wipe off the powder like this. So I think that's what did it. So that's not good. But we'll live. Well, yeah, I know you have three, <laughs> three kids. And also you had Jeffree Star drama. Oh, let's talk the tea. What do you guys think about a Jeffree Star apology? Let's collect some opinions here. Give me some opinions. I'll counter. Let's keep it the revolution. I'll counter with revolution palette. Revolution Pro HD. I honestly think that the apology is BS. Sounded like a PR stunt. Somebody told him what to say. But he, like Peter Mon says, he sounded like he almost didn't want to say like somebody told him, you need to say this. 
and he's just trying to uh, clean up his act. But I don't know, kind of not very believable. Yep, not sincere. So watch Peter Mon. I think I agree with everything he said. And Teresa is gonna have her own uh, drama video, so you gotta watch Teresa. You don't have to be quiet, John. You can go say hello if you want. John says he doesn't want to say hello. He doesn't like to be on camera. Yep, I've seen some of the receipts. And Teresa, you're very close with Peter Mon. Like, if you watch Peter Mon, there are two wise people on YouTube. Peter Mon and Teresa. Teresa, I'm telling you, you would be a great drama channel, great. <laughs> Teresa said, John, do you not love us? No. He applied that you love him? Yeah. He says he loves you, but he doesn't want his face on camera. <laughs> they say, hi, John. Hello. He says, hello. Yeah, I know, it does feel fake. At this point, it's hard, very hard to believe him because he keeps repeating the same behavior uh, very recently. So to say that he changed, but he keeps doing it. So I don't know. Teresa says, I was worried John didn't care for us anymore. Tell him Cece says hello. hello John says hello, Cece. So John had a conversation with your cat. Yeah, lady, lady I think Teresa is going to have very good uh, response to Jeffrey Star. If you guys are not following Teresa yet, go check out Teresa. Oh, that? Yeah. Uh, that actually looks like Jessa, but it's not. This is a Firma brush. I don't even know what that is. It says Firma. This came from BoxyCharm. I got this brush and I have no idea. I don't know about this brand, but it's very good actually. Yep, I love Jessa brushes, but this is a, this not it. <laughs> It looks very similar, right? But it's not. And the bronzer is a Firma brush too. It says Firma 102. So this is all from uh, uh, Boxycharm. I love Boxycharm. Sometimes they send some SHIT, but most of the time it's good. I know, me too. Can't wait. I know, miss. I saw that. I, I read. I read some comments. Like, I, when I was watching video, I was very, like, it just came out. And the comments were there. And then next thing I know, phew, the comments gone. I'll use butter bronzer. I haven't used that in a long time. I hit the pan. Look, Teresa, you'd be proud of me. I've used this quite a bit. Missa is the biggest YouTuber of us all. She's the one that connected all of the girls here. Like she created her like a fan group, a Patreon. So we all paid patrons, what you call patrons on the Patreon group for Missa. So, uh, Christine, go check out Make Me Up Missa. She has amazing, amazing content. And she made this all happen. All right. 
<laughs> yeah, Miss is the best. Miss is the reason I'm on YouTube because she inspired me and others too. So Miss made it happen. But a bronzer. I know, right? Teresa still can't get over it. <laughs> See, Mesa, you got yourself subscriber. Christine is cool. She's real good. Of course you're fond of Mesa. What's wrong with you if you're not? All right, what should I highlight with? I feel like I want something extra, of course. I have a lot of options. I just did my highlight collection video yesterday, and that's going to be up maybe ne next week, I think, or maybe the week after. So I think I want to do this since we're doing XX Revolution. I like this, actually. I think it's very extra. I got this in the color uh, Focus. So this one is very gold. It works. This one is a Jessa brush, actually. I love this highlight. It's real good. Yes, Misa, you know we love you. <laughs> I can't wait to meet you in person. I just hope they'll let us fly soon. Because we're going to be in this SHIT for a long time. So there I go, doing a Wayne Goss technique with like a subtle foundation and powder. And then I ruin everything with extra highlighter. <laughs> I'm going to highlight myself to death. I just can't help it. I love highlighter. I know, right? <laughs> we all turn up on the same day. I know, right? Victoria, I agree. I agree. It's ridiculous. It's like craziness, craziness. And the funny thing, the gym owners, like we had a Zoom call with my gym owners, like my, not mine, but you know, the place where I work. And they're kind of mad that they got shut down because they're saying, well, we uh, comply with all the rules. We clean the gym. So there is, should be no reason we shut down because we're not spreading uh, the virus. But like they don't understand that they're not uh, uh, like not cleaning well. That's not the reason. The reason that shut down is because it's just everywhere. Oh yes, Christina, it subscribed to me. So yes, Christina, you're gonna love her content. You're gonna love her content. See something here I don't like. Hold on. There you go. All right. So blush. You know how I feel about blush. I'm not really into it. What should I do? Something pink. Let's see why your blush is very pink. Actually, Miss, I think we have similar brushes. Yours is Jacqueline Hill, but mine is Borty. And it's like the same angle kind of thing. I love this for blush. We open candle. Yes, 
I'm so glad you subscribed to Teresa too. Teresa is awesome. And she's about to release some tea on Jeff, Jeffree Star. It's going to be awesome. I know, right? Christine, you need to join our Patreon group. I mean, Mrs. Patreon group. And you're going to become a sexy sausage. We all sexy sausages. If you wonder why we call each other sausages, <laughs> that's Mr. created the group. It's called Sexy Sausages. Well, my husband said, I'm not a sausage. We are Americans. We are the hot dogs. So UK girls are sexy sausages. We are sexy hot dogs. <laughs> no, right? I would say sausage sounds a little better than hot dogs. Hot dog sounds very pedestrian. All right, take a little excess off, I think. Is it a little bit got a little bit bright here? And let's see, where's my... <laughs> Jahan, Sam says, no, I refuse to be a hot dog. All right, so now I can actually, hmm, should we spray? I think I'll spray before I finish my eyes. Oh, let's watch, let's use a problematic spray. <laughs> if you don't know what problematic spray is. <laughs> This is a problematic spray because it gags, it gags me. All right. Yes, it does leave glitter. It smells like rotten garbage. Or John said it smells like wet dog. If you know what wet dog smells like, that's what it smells like. I like the glitter, actually. I just don't like the smell. The smell is like, ugh. It's really, really, really irritating. <laughs> All right, let's finish the eyes and I'm gonna do lips at the end. So before we go on, I'm gonna fix the under eyes a little bit. So that's the Makeup Revolution side. Make sure I'm not mixing them up. I know it does, it's like, it's on my shirt and it's on my chest, it's like everywhere. I remember John and I, we took a walk, like after I used that. And he's like, you know, you have glitter on your arms and your body everywhere. I'm like, and? <laughs> so my waterline, I think I'm gonna use either green or blue in my waterline or maybe purple, I'm not sure. What should I use my waterline? Blue, purple, and green. Str 
strip <laughs> strip a spray. I love that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I like this blush. <laughs> wow, that's so rude. Green? Okay. My lips are so crusty now. Yeah. I like to remove foundation. <laughs> oh, you're shading Missa now. Missa, watch out. You're being shaded. I need, I need some more yellow here. And I fix this side now with the yellow. <laughs> once a year. <laughs> Miss, I think they brushed once a year on Outlander time, probably. I would imagine. I'm gonna do the inner corner before I go on. I'm gonna use the same white and revolution. Uh, this is the revolution side. And I think I'm gonna use the same muffin, muffin in this side. <laughs> Turtles and such. <laughs> I love that. What bin juice? What are you talking about? What is bin juice? I think I'm missing something. Yeah, yeah, you need to join uh, Mrs. Patreon group, become a Patreon. You can become, start becoming a Patreon with like, I think $1 minimum a month, and then you become a Patreon. Or would I say Patreon? Misa, what yellow? You want yellow in the waterline? Juice. Oh my god. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> I didn't know that was called bin. John, do you know what bin juice is? No. It's like a juice from a trash can, like, like leaking, like the trash is leaking. He didn't know what bin juice is either. I guess it's UK thing, is it? <laughs> yeah, don't let Teresa not have the green moment. All right, so here are the options. Uh, I don't have the green, like a real green, so I usually make it. This is like a cool green, and this is a yellow. So what I do, I use the cool green, and I put yellow over and gives you the warm tone green. <laughs> Jefferson Starship, I know. So this is almost like turquoise, and then go yellow over and it becomes a bright green. So this is all color theory.
This is really good, actually. I need to get more of this, LA girl. The uh, shockwave. It's LA girl shockwave. Neon. Orange squash. What? <laughs> What's orange squash? <laughs> no, right? <laughs> well, I want to know what it is. Oh, hey, Jenny. Oh, my God. There's Jenny. Yes, if you struggle and stay here. <laughs> poop juice, oh my God. Where are you going with this? I love poop jokes, really. Oh, thank you, Mary. All right, so I'm adding yellow on top. So now it's gonna be like bright new and yellow green. See what it did? The yellow and the green kind of created that neon lime green. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like I don't have enough help. I'm not gonna make John do it after. Yeah, that's bright. It's real bright. Well, it became gray in the yellow and turquoise became gray. If I just showed you how many brushes I used, it's awful. That's just one, like a little bit. I have another side. I have these. So, like, it's a lot. It's very, very, a lot, very much. <laughs> See? I have positive influence on cleaning. Everybody's cleaning the SHIT. Hey, you had some more black here, something. Right. And blend some more purple. Yay, just a brushes. <laughs> I haven't had any tea in days. I think I got out of this habit, so you'll be shocked to know that I'm not drinking tea lately. I'm all back into coffee. Kind of became a little too dark or something. All right, I think it's good enough. All right, the eyeliner. Oh, wait, I'm gonna use glitter in the crease. Glitter, glitter. So I think silver, silver would be good. I was thinking gold or silver, but I think silver will stand out. I know, I need to get back into tea. The fine uh, AliExpress product, Hyundaian. I love Hyundaian glitter. And I'm about to use yet another brush. Add up to all the brushes I already messed up. Good stuff, I love this. <laughs> British puns. <laughs> yeah, I can't function without my coffee either, lady. I'm on with you. I like coffee. Sometimes I have tea, like later in the afternoon, like now, maybe three. 
but after like four or five, five p.m., I probably shouldn't be taking any coffee. You do really? I love coffee. Tea is more of my new like like love, but I do love coffee better. New pants every day. <laughs> oh my god. Nisa, how dare you say penis? <laughs> the only thing worse could be is a moist penis. When you say moist and penis in the same sentence. <laughs> I think Mo Moist Penny has got John laughing. He's just sitting there laughing at me. <laughs> I think Moist Penny has happened when you have a short article. <laughs> Where I'm going with this. Are you guys watching Orange is the New Black? I never watched that, it's funny. <laughs> I know, right? That's why I said them. Glitter, glitter, I know. Yeah, when you have such matte look, like you have to put some glitter in there. Yeah, now it looks more like a rainbow and glitter. I don't know. I like it. I think I'm going to curl my lashes and put eyeliner after. I like to curl my lashes first because otherwise your uh, eyeliner is going to be messed up. Do you guys curl your eyelashes? Because I say, I think uh, Teresa said she doesn't, right? Right, one of my new favorites, XX Eyeliner, XX Revolution. I'm sounding like a makeup revolution commercial now. The new eyeliner from XX Revolution. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. I do like curl them. Squatches, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, Miss, you keep coming up with them. <laughs> I need to take screenshots of this conversation. <laughs> yes, shardicle. Don't you know what shardicle says? If you don't, what don't know what the shardicle is. Look it up. Oh, I can tell you.
All right. I think it's good enough. The eyelashes are going to cover it up. And... Oh, this is from BoxyCharm, by the way. This is very decent mascara. Lily Lashes. I didn't like it at first, but now I kind of like this. You just have to build it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, you getting uh, Morphe brushes, Christine? I think they are behind. Yeah, I think I may, I see things like they're very behind. Oh, okay. I think there is a delay, definitely. Because I see you talking about charticles and I said something about charticles a long time ago or something. Yeah. So as a result, I'll keep on talking about charticles forever. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, my comments are behind. Well, I see it now. Anne-Marie, when you say your comments are behind, I do see them. So I don't know what's up with that. You're still waiting for June. Wow. Well, July, yeah, I'm waiting for July, but it did get June. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah, boxy charm has been real late. Might be later because you're in Canada, I guess. Well, I have not been on for three hours. I've been two hours and 15 minutes. Actually, this is a, a record. Usually when I'm live on Facebook, it's like about three hours and a half. So I think I'm doing much faster than usual. Oh, thank you, Jenny. I love you too. I love you guys. Exactly, Mary Helen. You're beautiful. I'm wearing my new eyeballs, by the way, the new ones I got in the mail. So this is a Siesta uh, Color CL lenses. And I filmed the review last week. So that should be up next week or something. And these are real nice. Yeah, I miss you, Teresa. I miss seeing you do Zumba too. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Those girls can get in quick drag in like 15 minutes. I, I don't know how they do that. I don't think I could do a 15 minute quick drag. I'm still yet to try it, but that's gonna be a mess. I don't think I can do normal makeup in 15 minutes and drag makeup in 15 minutes. Oh, uh, okay. You do? Yes, 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 please. I would love to see that. 
I can't wait to see you on YouTube. You can go to me, ask me any questions, Christine. I had my struggles with editing, with the lighting. I'll give you all the tea. I'll tell you everything you need. Oh, thank you, Sam. All right, the eyelashes. I think I have a little bit of fallout here with my brush. Brush it off. I build this up. I cut a little piece here and I glued like a kind of a couple of pieces on top. So the outer corner is really thick. So I'm gonna use this. It's like I cut up the old eyelash and I put a piece here. And I'll use my dual glue. The only thing I don't like about this, the applicator is like plastic, literally like a piece of plastic. The other one. All right, Christine, you need to like join our uh, sausage group or something and we can connect maybe like on Facebook. I don't know if you do Facebook, but if you do, we need to connect on Facebook and they can talk through Messenger because YouTube, talking through YouTube kind of pain in the behind because it's all in the comments. So if you want to message me, you can message me on YouTube, well, I mean YouTube, on Facebook. Yeah, but you know, it's doable. Oh, okay, good. I have uh, two accounts on Facebook which I kind of regret because nobody, I mean, I don't really check the other one. It's kind of pain in the back. So I created separate accounts for Elena Glam, but now I have my personal account and that, and it's like, oh, it's too much. But I do have a page and I have a personal account so you can look me up. All right. I like to place the outer corner a little above my natural lash line. So it kind of lifts my eye. So go a little above my natural lash line. So it gives like snatched. Oh, thank you, Anne-Marie. Yes, Christine needs to be one of us. Just go follow Make Me Up Mrs. Uh, Patreon link and become a patron. And then you can join the Facebook a Sexy Sausage group. And you're going to be officially a Sexy Sausage. I believe we have Canadian sausages already, too.
<laughs> Thank you. You know, I never got into it. I tried that the eyelash glue uh, on the eyelash line and then the eyelash over. And to me, the glue started to remove my eyeliner. Mm, I don't know. I like the regular way. I just pull up. I plop them on. It works. So I do it that way, and then I use a little eyeliner over if I see any glue or anything. So now you know what's going on behind the scenes if you don't watch me. And if you only watch me on YouTube, that's what's happening while I'm filming <laughs> what I do off. Oh, uh, what palettes I used? Uh, Jenny, I did the palette battle. One of my eyes is uh, Beauty Bay, Mama Mitchell. And one of my eyes is Makeup Revolution, XX Revolution Extravaganza. So since Jenny hasn't seen anything, uh, what do you think? Which eye is Makeup Revolution and which eye is Beauty Bay Mama Mitchell? Look, I'm, I'm very curious because Jenny missed it. <laughs> so look at it, let me know. All right, like which one? Like you look, this is my right and this is my left in real life. I don't know which one is right for you. Is this your right? <laughs> I don't know how you see it. Do you see this is right? Oh, so left is your right. So this one, Mama Mitchell, you're right. <laughs> so this is Mama Mitchell. This is XX Revolution. Mama Mitchell blue and green, a little more pigmented. And XX Revolution, yeah, uh, the pink is more pigmented XX Revolution. Oh, okay, so yeah, so that's mirrored then, yeah. So yeah, you got the answer, now which one is which? Okay, so lips is the last thing to do. So I guess it needs to be like a pink. What do you guys think, bright pink or light pink? Yes, you know your shit. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Yeah, well, this is already bright. So normally, normal people would say you need to tone down the lips, but we are not normal. We like everything bright. All right, so I don't have a lot of brights, I think. Let me see. I'm such a nude bitch. <laughs> a whole drawer that I have, everything is like pale and nude. Like, it's bad. So, let me see. Well, I have this. It's kind of purplish, though. It's whole and neon. This is from BoxyCharm, by the way. It's like one of those whole and neons. And this one is more of a... The texture is so good. I love this brand. But this is more of a purple. It's not really bright pink. Yeah, I could do bright and light. Uh, the ombre. Let's see. Uh, this Barry M, but Barry M is like more neutral, like a movie. It's not bright enough. And I have the Profusion lipstick, like a really neon pink. You just edited the whole video, which... <laughs> You're quick. It takes me longer to edit. I've been on for, what, two and a half? Yeah, I guess two and a half hours you can. What's this? 
So I found pinkish uh, lip liner. It's really bright though. Uh, bye bye, lady. Thank you. Well, that's the only hot pink I have. It's sort of hot pink. I need more uh, lipsticks. That's what I noticed. Because everything I own is like neutral. Like literally everything I own is neutral. So this is a perfusion lipstick that I got in the dollar store, actually. It was like a set was a couple of bucks. So it might be expired. <laughs> yeah, that too. All right, let's do I'll let it go into bed. Well, some people are still here. I still have 16 of you. I started with 21. <laughs> Five of you went to bed. I'm almost done. I'll let you all go to bed. It's pretty early actually, I'm finished with this. Usually I film something much later in the day, so I might be able to go for a walk. And I'm the extra person that I am, I can go for a walk like this, anytime. I don't care. <laughs> Thank you guys. Overline the lips. Oh yeah. Walmart fabulous. That's press on nails from uh, Salon Perfect. And this came in a in the beauty box from Walmart. Do you guys know that Walmart sends boxes? The Walmart box is five dollars each and they come every season, like once every three months. So these are actually pointy and long like this. So I, I file them because they're way, way pointy. So I got rid of them. This is real nice. Oh, good night, Carly. So let's see. It smells weird. I wonder if it expired. Probably is. Oh, well. Oh, you like this? <laughs> I kind of like bright lips with this. First I was like, I want a nude lip. Now I'm like, ooh, bright. Yeah, I think I like this, the bright. It's not me, it's not my regular, like I'm usually going for like nudes, but I think I can live with this. <laughs> Thank you, that's the only pink I have, that's it. This foundation creasing a little bit, and it's like, it kind of broke apart a little bit here. I think it's from Wayne Gosti, I think. So I think uh, Kaylee said, Kylie said that the uh, CC cream kind of tends to separate, and I think it did. 
It usually doesn't, but I think with the Wayne glass technique, it's separated. I think I need to brush my hair. I need to do my roots. Like, this is not acceptable. I need to bleach my roots real bad. Yeah, so we got the Battle of the Palette. Actually, they look very similar now that I'm looking with the lashes and everything. They look really similar. This lash is trying to fall off for some reason, but it's okay. Yeah, I like the lips with this look. Your mom is watching. Hi, Teresa, mom. Hi, Mother Teresa. <laughs> You know, we call Teresa's mom, Mother Teresa. Your video is lagging. I don't know, mine might be lagging too. I think my comments are lagging. Oh, the lip I did, the uh, Perfusion. It's like a cheap lipstick from, I actually got it in a dollar store. I'm a crafty queen. <laughs> it's just a regular bullet lipstick. Just a bright fuchsia pink. I need more lip options. Like I need to buy some stuff because everything I own is like a off uh, pink, like a light pink or light uh, nude. Everything's very nude. So I need more of something like this, like reds and pinks. So. And my nails are matching, I just noticed. <laughs> this is so nice to have you guys. Oh, thank you, Christine. You like it. Thank you guys. Pink wig. Ooh, you want to wait? I'm going to run in and go get the wig. I have a light pink wig. Hold on a sec. I'll be right back. The one pink wig. I 
I'm back. <laughs> the pink. Ah! Almost fell off. I don't have it on correctly because I didn't have time for it. But there it is. All of the 35 bucks or whatever it was on Amazon. <laughs> of course, it's in my eyes immediately. Yes, queen. <laughs> I love this wig. Whenever I go to a drag show, I wear this. I'm sorry. I know we all want to travel, but we can't. <laughs> I'm so glad you came, guys came out to uh, play around. This is so cool. That's for you, Jenny. Extra town pop. <laughs> oh wait, not just this. This is this is how it goes. Yep, Mrs. have an eye on Teresa's palettes. Teresa has the best collection of palettes, hands down. I want to be surrounded with cats too. I want cats. I want many. We've been looking at properties, hopefully buy a house, because if you guys don't know, our apartment building, they don't allow uh, pets. So we have to wait until we buy a house. Uh, so we've been looking at houses like we're tired of living like in a small space. So, but the prices are not coming down yet. So I was thinking maybe with the coronavirus, the prices are going to go down, but they're not going down yet. So everything is like $600,000 for a two, three bedroom home, like $700,000, not, not less, unless it's real old round down. So uh, Melt pouts. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, like I think we get into the uh, idea that our mortgage is going to be very high no matter what. So we might just have to get ready to pay a lot a month because this is South California and the prices are high. We're thinking that with the economy going down, like the housing might go. Uh, you know, crash, but I don't see it. It's not happening yet. Two pits. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I wish I could have at least one cat, but it's not allowed here. So we need to buy a home. So I tell my husband, I only want to buy a house because I, want, because I want to have a cat. So that's the only reason I want a house. I just want a cat. <laughs> I know it is cheaper, Teresa. Yeah, there is that. Yeah, I would love to know how many pallets to zones. Well, yeah, Seattle, I know, but I think LA and New York probably the worst, I would imagine. We moved out of New York because we felt like we we're priced out and it's real expensive and it's dirty, overpopulated and uh, MTA was bad, but it seems like LA is almost as expensive. The rent, I would say, is lower in, New in LA, but the housing, I mean, the uh, real estate is probably almost the same. I know, right? <laughs> Well, hopefully we'll kick our <clears throat> narcissistic child off in November. I know, that too, Jenny. There's so many options and possibilities. You just hook up John with a good flying job. If you find a, a private plane owner, a corporate airline or something, that'll hire him. 
sold. This one's for sale. So <laughs> if it gets a job, well, I'm moving the heartbeat. Oh, yes, part of, I was thinking about that, right? Mm hmm Actually, where are they? Two, three. I have this perfusion lip glosses, and I have glitter in them. They're like perfusion minis. I reviewed that in my video. They literally have crystal lip gloss, they have glitter in it. So I might want to add that. Let's see. Mm, yes. I think you like it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're right, Mesa. It added a little bit like dye, just a little glitter. Oh, thank you, Mesa. Thank you, Teresa. Yep, cheap perfusion. I like my perfusion, SHIT. Yes, I think so too. Here we're allowed to. Our apartment building is more like a, uh, they say in like a resort living. So it's like they rent their apartments like short term, almost like hotel. So when you look in the lobby, it looks like a hotel lobby. And here we have like people in and out, kind of bread, bed and breakfast type of thing. So I think they're gonna they're trying to keep it like clean and like hotel like. So they don't want the animals, but you can have emotional support animals. So I see emotional support dogs all the time. So, but they said you need a note from a doctor. I'm like, it's just too much. I'll just wait to how we get a house and I'll get cat legally. Yes, please. <laughs> you get my permission right now. <laughs> Misa wants to copy my look. It's like, oh, thank you, girl. <laughs> yes, you should seriously sleep. I know. Oh, yeah, you're going back to work, right? All right. Bye-bye, Jenny. Good night. Yeah, you should try it. Yeah, try it out and see what happens for you. Probably the same thing. I think they're very similar, to be honest. I'm not pooping on XX Revolution. I just think that um, Mama Mitchell, some of the colors are brighter. And some of like the black, I think Mama Mitchell black is better. And the green and the blue are better. But I mean, I like shimmers and XX Revolution. Love you too, Christine. Head perfusion boots. You do? Oh, huh, interesting. I was wondering if you guys have perfusion there. Oh, well, thank you, Miss. I'm so glad you turned up here. Harry Potter. <laughs> I guess Harry Potter is less violent than Outlander. <laughs> I'm not into Harry Potter. And we're watching uh, the pole dark now. James Charles. James Charles Pilot or James Charles Person? 
Good night, Nessa. Love you. Yeah, we finished the Outlander. Now we're watching Paul Dark. I love Paul Dark. At first, I wasn't like into it. Now I'm like obsessed. I like James Charles palette, small one, mini. It's okay. Some of the colors are patchy, like the blue is patchy. Uh, James Charles as a person, I don't know. Oh, palette, yeah. Palette is okay. I have a mini. I like some of them, but I feel like uh, a lot of them are patchy. Because, like, the dark blue, I felt like it was patchy for me. I don't know. But it's good. Who else is going to bed? Amy, how good night. Yeah, the, James Charles is a person I have really, like, almost no opinion because he seems okay now. All the rumors are off, but he's still like, he's he's a 21 year old, was it 20, 21? I think it's 21. And he acts like 21 year old, you know, irresponsible, full of himself. He acts exactly what he, like what he's supposed to act. When somebody 21 year old got to fame so early and he got all the money and uh, popularity, that's what happens. You fool of yourself and you got a big head. So that's what happens. <laughs> Yep. Exactly, Teresa. He's at least problematic. I think we need to give him a few more years to mature. But if he still acts like a little twat, <laughs> then of course, then you can judge him. But I don't know. He acts like a 21 year old. I mean, what do you want? Oh, Paula. Hey, Paula. Have you been here this whole time or no? I think I'm missing something. Yeah, Paul has just turned up. Paul, you don't know what happened, right? <laughs> yeah. I guess it depends, Angela. Some people mature earlier, but... He, yeah, I think he's going to do okay. See, Teresa is a psychologist, so you have to listen to what she says. She has the most uh, uh, valuable opinion here, most professional opinion. <laughs> Mouth falls alive. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think he's like, Maybe a 20 year olds and teenagers I enter him because he's uh, closer to their age group. But we identify with a more mature audience, I guess. I don't know. That's why I kind of like Teddy because she was like closer to my age group. But the problem is she got herself into all this too. So now she disappeared. So I don't know. Yep, I know. I agree. I so agree, Teresa. Boys mature slower. Absolutely. I'm surprised that I've been on for two hours and 15 minutes and I finished my look way before that. I can't believe how fast I did. I'm kind of proud of myself to be able to talk to you and finish. <laughs> Tati does. You know, I didn't know that until somebody pointed it out. And I looked at the videos and literally you can see her hands. Like you can see everything in her hands and then her face is blurred. I'm like, how do they do that? Like I have a camera, a pretty good camera. My camera doesn't do that. I have a 4K camera. You can see every pore and every wrinkle. Like, ah! It's like the opposite. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> yes, it was you. I remember. Yeah, it is crazy. I don't know. I don't know how it's possible because, like, my camera just shoots. If you have a more expensive camera, it usually shoots more clearly. 
like Les Valori. So I don't understand how it's going on because my camera just shoots like very clear. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, I do edit my pictures because of the color brightness, when you have a lot of lights and you take a photo, it washes out. So you have to like add pigmentation back. So do some a little bit for my skin blur and just a little bit. Yeah, no, Paula, like you, she did all that and kind of, mm, it leaves bad taste, but on the other hand, she might have been manipulated. You say, people say that Teddy is mature and she's old and she shouldn't be manipulated, but I think age has nothing to do with being able uh, to uh, judge people by, you know, like, if it, I don't know, I think anybody can get manipulated at any age. That's what I'm trying to say. I think Peter Mont said it very well. He said that there is a lot of age shaming going on, like ages, you know, and because she's older, people say, oh, she's old, oh, she's old, she should know better. But it doesn't matter. I think people can get uh, manipulated any age. Like I'm 45, but I'm very gullible. So I feel like a lot, like, in the same shoes as daddy, I think I could very well be manipulated and just believe anything. So I don't know. Yeah, that's true. That is true that she made a bad call uh, to make it public. She should have come to him personally or she should have just let it go. Just let it go. I think if I were her in her place and somebody like, if I felt like somebody betrayed me and like, like James did and he just acted selfish and I would feel betrayed, maybe feel hurt, but I wouldn't say anything in the public. Maybe just cut him out of her life if she felt that way, you know, but not go in public. I would just like let it go. Yeah. Exactly, Teresa. Hey, Paula, Han, I want to ask you now. It's her to her to guess. Paula, uh, you don't know what I did today, did you? So I did one eye with uh, Makeup Revolution, XX Revolution, Extravaganza. And I did the other eye with Beauty Bay, Mama Mitchell. So which eye is which? What do you think? This eyelash is getting one kid a house, like Ridge Lux. I need to fix this. So which eye is which? What do you think? So I'm going to point my finger and tell me which one is this. Is this Beauty Bay or is this uh, Mama Mitchell? And the other, way will, the other eye will be the opposite. I'm just curious. <laughs> what do you think, Paula? Yeah, I think my comments are very delayed, like very delayed. <laughs> you got it right too. <laughs> yeah, it is a one kill lash. I think my wig keeps pulling the lash off. It keeps getting lower and lower and lower. <laughs> I think I'll need to fix this before I take pictures. It's funny. You all guys got it right. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. We we never know. You know, Paula, you say like they all uh, step in chess heads. It's true. But on the other hand, we don't really know them in real life. So who knows what they're like in real life? Yeah, I know, Teresa.
Thank you, Paula. It is very sad. I still kind of have hope. I don't know. I have a feeling that uh, Tati actually not the kind of person to like deliberately, deliberately, bleh, deliberately try to destroy somebody. I think she really like was in her feelings. She did something like out of uh, I don't know impulse or something, but. Mm. I don't think she did anything like to hurt somebody in person. I know, Teresa, aren't we all sweet? <laughs> yeah, vitamins, but I think there is more. There's probably more that we don't know because we don't know behind the, the doors, you know? And we don't know the relationship, we don't know, we don't know what else he did to irk her, you know, could have been more things, you know, we don't know. I can't believe the 12 of you are still here. I know Teresa doesn't sleep, and Marie doesn't sleep. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right, Victoria. Should have talked to him. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just curious where it's gonna go, where it's going to go from now on. Like, what are gonna say publicly, Tati, and you know, what's gonna happen with the lawsuits? I think the lawsuits are not going to go anywhere, honestly. They're just going to, like, probably agree with some, for something behind the doors, and nobody's going to talk about it again. Yeah. Exactly, Christine. I agree. I always give everybody a benefit of a doubt. Like, I always like to assume that everybody good has good intentions. You know, like, people say, oh, this dragon to hurt to destroy this, but I always try to assume that they don't try to do that. But it's, you know, I like to give everybody a chance. <laughs> Take out Paula. This sounds very uh, juicy, but I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I think they're just trying to protect themselves, that's all. They're trying to lawyer up, make sure that other people are not going to come for them. That's, I think that's what's happened. Exactly. We'll need to build each other up. You know, I see the future for us guys, like for me, uh, Teresa, Kaylee, uh, like all the small YouTuber sausages. We are the future. <laughs> we are the future of nice beauty community. I actually support each other, you know, and not going to come for each other. I mean, they could do a video together, she and Tati, uh, she and James, because she did say James was going to be on the video with her. I mean, that's very possible. Exactly. We're the future of positive YouTube. And now Christine is going to join us. I can't wait for you to Christine to start YouTube and oh it's gonna be good. All right, love you too, Christine. Go take doggies for a walk. 
<laughs> I'll chat tomorrow and go uh, find me on Facebook or I'll find you. I'll probably find you. I'll befriend you. You'll know. You'll see a long last Russian name with a Russian name. I have a, my real Russian name. It's Timirazova. So when you see that, that's me. <laughs> so you'll see what it is. I'm going to actually type it in for you. If, you. if you're not gone yet, that's my Facebook name. All right, so that's my Facebook name, if you're wondering. And I just, I think I just outed myself. So if the other people watch that, <laughs> they would know exactly who I am, which I don't care. I love you too, Christine. Oh, you found me, yes, 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 awesome. Yes, my... It's easy to find me because the Russian name is very unique. I'm like the only one. I know you're still here, all 10 of you. I lost about 11 people, but you're still awake. I know people don't sleep or Americans. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely taking this makeup for a walk later. I mean, why not? All right, guys, I think I'm going to let you go because you all fall asleep. And I need to take some pictures before and fix my wonky eyelash. And <laughs> then take some pictures. <laughs> Damn video. Teresa, you're going to be waiting for the video for a long time. You know, it takes a long time to export. Hours, probably, sometimes. So I would just let it go. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Yeah, I wouldn't wait, Teresa, because it might take hours. Just let it go overnight, and tomorrow morning it's going to be on. Okay, guys, I love you too. Thank you so much for showing up. i got three hours of life, so that's going to give me so much time. <laughs> it was so nice to hang out. I think we're going to do this every Sunday. That's a good thing. Maybe do different themes. I'm going to post like on community, or like a post, like what do you want to see? Because I have a community page now, so I can do that. <laughs> I know, I need to, right? I need to come to visit y'all. <laughs> Your neck PT, oh, interesting. That looks interesting, sounds interesting. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm so fancy. Community page just appeared today, by the way, just now. It I think it takes like a week for the things to change. So yeah. Yay, Christine. Awesome. All right, bye guys. I'm gonna finish this up and do something productive like preparing food for dinner or something. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it every Sunday. I promise. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Love you. Thank you for coming.